Well, the world of reality video games is becoming more real each day. One game that's getting a lot of attention is Prison Architect. It allows players to build their own prisons however they want with simulated inmates inside. Some say it's going to give people a better understanding of the justice system, while opponents say it teaches people to exploit others. With me now is Mark Morris, the managing director of the Prison Architect video game. And Mark, first of all, with a welcome to you, how'd you come up with this idea? Hi, Alex. Thanks so much for having us on the, uh, the show. I'm really pleased to be here. Um, the game idea uh, came from a holiday that um, our creative director went on to Alcatraz in uh, the beautiful city of uh, San Francisco. And basically, as he was walking around and looking at some of the, the mechanisms that open the cell doors and uh, some of the other kind of systems that were evolved in, um, in that place, he, he started connecting the dots and thinking, we could build a, a simulation. We could simulate this inside a computer. Um, and that would be a really interesting environment to kind of play with in the context of a video game. It had never been touched on before, well, not well in uh, the video games medium, but so many books and films and TV shows have been based in prisons that, that we thought maybe we could have a look at this issue through, mm -hmm. uh, through our medium, which is, which is gaming. Yeah, and for people who don't really quite get the idea of all this, I mean, you go from the ground up. Literally, you have people who are able to decide if they want to put tile floors down, wood flanks on the floor, whether they want to have it lighted with uh, certain types of light, whether you want to have single cells, communal bathrooms, single bathrooms. I mean, it's a very interesting architectural design, but when people look at this game sometimes, some are calling it a bit tasteless. What do you say to that? I don't think it's tasteless at all. Um, I think everybody in the world has an opinion on prisons. Uh, some people believe that they are not strict enough. Some people believe that they are far too strict and that we're not doing enough to rehabilitate the prisons that, uh, prisoners that are in there. Um, what we did, we tried to create a game where you could explore those themes genuinely. And, and you touched on it by talking about different floor types. It's, it's a, maybe a, a small thing, but actually, if you put down a really nice wooden floor, that's going to have an impact on your, your prisoners. They're going to prefer their environment slightly, so they're slightly less likely to, to riot or cause you trouble. But of course, the downside of that within the game is that that's going to cost you a little bit more money. Mm. So if you can't afford to put that particular floor type down, um, or if you do put it down, you might need to sacrifice, say, I don't know, an education wing, mm. or perhaps you might not be able to have sniffer dogs so, so your, your drug use in the prison goes up. So I, I reject any uh, allegation that, that it's tasteless at all. I think it, we, we've um, treated the subject very sensitively. And, and what kind of stats are you getting on the numbers of people playing the game and, and who's playing it? Oh, we've, we've done phenomenally well. We're, we're a very small company. There's only about 10 people that work for us, uh, four directors full time. We started the firm uh, way back in 2000 uh, at university. And this is by far and away the most successful game that we've ever made. Um, we, we've not even finished it yet. It's still in what we call early access. And we've sold o over a million uh, users now. So uh, we've got over, I think it's about 1.1 million people have played Prison Architect to date, which is just outstanding. Right. And how long has it been out? Uh, we started it in September 2012, uh, but like I said, it's not finished. So every month we, we produce a small content update where we add a new system or, or we tweak something. So um, we've been working on it slowly over, over the years, and um, we're going to be launching later on this year. But uh, as I say, not a long period, and, and over a million players is just amazing. All right. Well, Mark Morris, congratulations are in order then. Good luck. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you very much, Alex. I appreciate it.